Child, why is y'all sitting up here messing with Candy? That darn Marlo, I tell you, child, Candy's about to have a fit, child. It is a mess. Housewives of Atlanta, let's get into it. Now, look, I reviewed the last two episodes, five and six, but I'm going to review um, seven and eight individual. I'm not going to put them together, all right? Let's get into it. The first thing we see is um, Drew Sedora. We see Drew. She is um, meeting up with the video director that she worked with way back in the day. Um, and he went straight to business. He went straight to talking to her about what's going on. He didn't waste no time. So he was just like, child, I ain't got time for this reality stuff. Um, and so here's what's going on. So, um... Drew, she has a song, um, you already know. Um, and um, they're talking about that, and he's going to be the video director on that. Um, oh gosh. I'm so sick of Nat, y'all. If y'all see me do this, or uh, whatever the move might be, it's because I'm swiping Nat's child. But anyway, um, so they're meeting up, and they start to discuss Ralph. Um, originally, the plan was going to be for Ralph to be the video guy in the video, um, but the guy doesn't, the director, he doesn't know how Ralph's body is set up currently. So he was just like, well, look, just in case Ralph is, is out of commission, um, we're going to need some second options. So Drew is going to have to end up um, breaking the news to Ralph. But she ended up not having to because um, it ended up working out where the guy that they booked for the video shoot, he was booked at something else that was more important than Drew's video shoot. And um, they ended up getting Ralph to do the thing. So I'm just like, okay, well, it is what it is. It was getting all freaky deaky doing rehearsal and everything. And I was just like, child, stunts, shows, stunts and shows. What else we get? We have a split scene. So we have Marlo and Courtney. They're meeting at a restaurant, and then we have Candy and um, Sanya. They're meeting at either OLG's or um, uh, Blaze, Candy's, Candy and Todd's restaurant. And um, so they're sitting down talking, and, um, you know, of course, the topic of discussion when it comes to Sanya and um, Candy is um, Marlo. And um, so they're talking about that and Candy feels like Marlo is trying to throw 20 on 10. Marlo is, is trying and she's trying to link me to her nephew's murder. And it's just, you know, it's not cool what she's trying to do. You know, um, Candy talked about how she lost her brother at 15. And um, she that kind of made her like numb to death because her and her brother were super close. Um, and so she shows love and support in other kind of ways um in which we see that she does um and so she just you know don't understand what the um real issue is and um candy also expressed to sanya that she don't really trust her because she feels like she plays both sides and um she just don't really like know how to take her and stuff um and then they talked about charades um come to Jesus moment where she was going to be meeting the girls at a restaurant and um, they were going to try to come together and discuss their issues and try their best to um, work it out. Um, but everybody had to be dressed in Gucci and stuff. The cute little rhyme that Sheree did was cute. Um, so we have Sanya and Courtney. Uh, Marlo, sorry, we have Marlo and Courtney. Marlo thanks, Sat Marlo thanks Courtney about... Um, Everything she's done for her, apparently, um, Marlo, she lost her right to conceal a weapon a long time ago. So Courtney jumped on that because um, Marlo, unfortunately, she had um, some people try to break into their home, um, her and the boys. So um, she wants to take extra, extra precautions and just um, be concealed. Um, God forbid if something like that was to happen again. So Courtney, you know, got her in touch with some people, blah, blah, blah. Then Marla was just like, all these girls ever do is tear me down and all this other kind of stuff. And I'm going to thank you, Courtney, blah, blah, blah. So um, she also talked about how she has a date and stuff coming up um, that she's very excited for. Um, and so we're also excited to see Monty get back out there in the dating field, child. Um, 
They talked about the whole candy thing. Um, it's just, you know, regurgitated information, all the stuff that, you know, um, that she's been saying, but she wants to apologize and, and she do hate how everything happened and, and blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, child. It's getting old. It's getting old. So, let me see. What else we see? Um, hmm. We see um, Kenya. Kenya, she met up with her doctor who, um, you know, delivered Brooklyn. And um, Kenya is interested um, in having another child. And Kenya is, how old is Kenya? 60. No, Kenya is um 50 something or another. Um, <clears throat> and she wants to have another baby. The thing is, is that she, um, her embryos that she have is with uh, Mark's um, sperm. So they're already fertilized and ready to go. And so she would have to, she says that if she feels obligated to have another conversation with Mark, and which I understand that because it is, it would be his child too or whatever. Um, but she definitely wants to do something with those. And so she wants, wanted to discuss the possibility of having another child. And the lady was, in so many words, the lady just told her your ass is too old. And, um, you know, you had a super duper rough pregnancy with Brooklyn. She said out of her 32 years of practice, that was her worst experience. Um, and so she says that, um, you know, she don't know if this would be the best option for her. Kenya's all upset. She said she didn't consider all the, all the um, possible bad things with um, you know, carrying um, another child and stuff and everything, um, which I don't know how, but you know, she just she says she just wants to playmate for Brooklyn, which I understand that. Um, you know, so we're gonna pray for Kenya and her journey. Um, I don't know why she just won't get a surrogate, but she was just like, she don't know if she'll be okay with that and. <laughs> There's no other option, really, Kenya, sis. Um, you know, we got to keep you here. And the doctor literally telling you that if you want to have another baby, you having another baby out your own body is just not going to be the tea. So, you know, hopefully. But child, Kenya's still married to Mark. So what a mess. What a mess, I tell you. Um, okay, so the last scene was the ladies they met up at the Gucci event, Sheree's Gucci event. She gets emotional and drops a tear, I believe. I couldn't see it, but she did drop a tear, apparently. And um, she was just like, it's just a shame that we can't get along, blah, blah, blah. So the first beef that was squashed was Candy versus Courtney. They apologized. Um, well, Courtney apologized and stuff, and she was just like, you know, me and Candy's issue was not that deep. And, um... You know, I'm glad that she came and, you know, extended the olive branch and stuff. And she took it and blah, blah, blah. I can't even just like, yeah, because what we was arguing about was stupid, which I agree. So the next thing was Kenya and Sanya. I was saying it feels like Kenya is um, shady towards her and stuff. And Kenya was feeling some kind of way about saying it this whole time because Sanya went on Watch What Happens Live and basically kind of alluded to the fact that Marlo may be right in saying that Kenya's butt is fake. And Kenya felt some kind of way about that. And I'm just like, <sighs> I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm like, Kenya girl, please. I'm like, is, is that what the, the T is? Uh, Kenya, it is. But we're gonna move on. Well, it's alleged. I don't know that for sure. We, whatever. It's alleged. Um. So, uh, Kenya was just like, "Well, I don't really trust you saying it. I'm just trying to figure out the tea, blah blah." 
And the thing is, is that um, the groups are divided. They are. It's four and four on each team. Um, nobody, I don't know who's really friends on this cast. It's just, it's just very interesting. This is very, very interesting. Um, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. This is an interesting season. Oh, um, let me see. So the last thing was Marlo and Ken Candy, but they didn't really get to discuss their issue because Kenya, she kept interjecting, you know, she kept making comments at one point. She had Sheree to hold her because, you know, she felt like um, Marlo was spearing BS and um, Kenya was doing the absolute most and, and Marlo got upset and she ended up leaving. Um, because obviously if she would have cussed Kenya out or slapped Kenya, whatever, they, of course, you know, that would be the narrative that they try to, you know, um, spear constantly when it comes to Marlo. So she ended up leaving. Sheree went out there to go get her. It was just pretty bad. That's why I say, like, I don't really, and I'm not saying Marlo don't deserve the heat. But what I am saying is that at least, like I said in my last review, when it comes to Kenya versus Marlo, I'm not on eating anybody's side because they both are a trip. They both can be mean. They both can be nasty. They both can be bullies. They both can be aggressive. One is more passive. And, and that's that. You know, so I don't really see one is, is, you know, different than the other necessarily. Um, but hey, people are going to see what they want to see. Um, and so Marlo ended up coming back in and Marlo was just like, I'm not blaming you for the murder that you had anything to do with it. My whole thing was that you just didn't send flowers or send your condolences. And apparently she said that her family reached out to her and said, well, ain't Candy your girl? Why she didn't say nothing? Seeing as how her nephew um, was associated with Candy because uh, he used to work at the restaurant, even though he got shot months and months later after leaving the restaurant. Marlo says that he was not at the restaurant because of um, COVID. So it's, it's just a lot. But at the end of the day, like I said in my last review, Marlo stopped trying to make a storyline with this whole Candy thing. Candy don't owe you nothing. Um, and that's that. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm tired of talking about it at this point. Uh, I really, really am. Um, so we're going to see, but, um, y'all stay tuned for the next video. I think that was it. I think that was it. Um, uh, but that said, I'm Mr. Chilaki, Mr. Chilaki on Google Plus. Follow me at Skins on Instagram and Twitter at Skins 89 on Snapchat. Chase King on Facebook, Mr. Chilaki on Cash App and PayPal. And as always, run me my money or run me my fade. Run me my money the way I get paid. Stay black, stay tuned, and I'll see you guys later.